good morning guys um last uh sorry if the light's not the best i got all my lights in my truck on so uh may not be the best but they work hey welcome officially to deer season 2019 i am super pumped to get this thing started i'm driving up to my hunting club right now got about an hour before daylight and we're about to go get in a tree now we asked do we have some circumstances that we cannot control it is um being rainy it rained all night of course if you're from around where we live you know that it is it rained so it's been raining all yesterday afternoon. Hadn't had rain in two months, almost. And, uh, open day of deer season, rain. But it it uh, rained all night. It stopped right now. It's supposed to come back really at around ten or eleven ish. Um, hopefully it doesn't hopefully some changes hopefully we're able to hunt this afternoon but we're headed in for the first sit of 2019 deer season i started hunting at six years old and i can't think of a time i wasn't obsessed with it my first bow at four first deer at seven i have my dad to thank for getting me to such an amazing sport. Hunting trip for 25 high today. And I thank God for this opportunity. Hunting is so much more than killing an animal. It's about family, friends, and this lifestyle so many of us can never live without. It's about the conservation of not only the wildlife and wild lands we know and love, but also of this culture for generations to come. guys welcome back to 25 feet high outdoors it's pretty early for us today and that is because it is opening day of bow season in Alabama I am super freaking pumped I've got a, a buck that I know you've seen on the channel before um, pretty good pretty good six point biggest six point I've ever seen on my lease It's coming into one spot pretty regular so I'm going after him today. Um, and one thing I just want to mention, if the audio quality is trash today, it's because I have wrapped my camera up in a Ziploc bag because weather's kind of awful today. Um, it's not supposed to rain. It's been raining all night, but it's not supposed to rain for another, uh, four or five hours if all if, if the radar is correct so that should give me plenty of time to kill a big old buck We're, we are in the stand accidentally bumped out a deer on the way in don't know what it was but it didn't blow or anything it, it didn't know what it was so it just kept on out so but be quiet gets fully settled in and I'll talk to y'all briefly. But here's the deal. I hadn't seen anything this morning. I bumped a deer out of here. At least a deer out of here. Not in my area, 
has a lot of flats, but in front of me is a bottom, and then right on the other side of that bottom is another, uh, right on the other side of this flat is another bottom, and these deer on my camera are working this edge of this bottom and the edge of that bottom. I have three bucks, or four actually bucks on camera that if I see are shooters. Yeah, dirty Elvis. Semi Prowy. And there's another good seven that I just never gave a name. As of right now, Dirty Elvis has disappeared. I hadn't seen him in around a week on camera. I have another camera about 200 yards, or about 150 yards from me. It's a solar camera, or cell camera. And Browie is actually right now in front of my other camera. So, he's right, he's there right now. So I don't know, I haven't got him at this camera, but all but every deer but him has went from this, that camera to this camera through moving, but they had to see him do that, so I don't know. But we're just gonna settle in here and wait and hope I didn't mess anything up by bumping that deer out this morning. Um, pretty mixed emotions right now because I bumped that deer out. They work they walk this trail this um, about thirty yards in front of me. There's a food plot that's not planted behind me. We have a bad storm that I'm hoping's gonna skirt right over top of us, like right above us on the map. So it's a good chance as long as it's doing what it looks like it's doing We'll, um, we'll be able to hunt pretty much most of the day, as long as it continues on this path. But I'm going to stop talking and start hunting. Alright guys, I know you can't see me too well, but I just got set up not too long ago in its first light. I spooked a deer out of here earlier on my way in. Um, it was across the creek from here. I'm a, I don't think that really messed anything up, so that's a good thing. But uh, the main reason I wanted to come in here, so this buck, I know you've seen him on the channel before. It's like a three and a half or four and a half year old six point, and he's a pretty nice deer. But the cool part about it is, as of, like, three days ago, he was still in velvet. <clears throat> That's the last time I pulled the card. Um, he was still in velvet, so I'm giving it a shot. And I wasn't, this deer hasn't come in too much in the morning. So I wasn't gonna come in here in the morning. Because I just want to... I want this to be as little, I want to pressurize this area as little as possible, but the fact that it's going to rain the rest of the day, I feel like I'm not hurting anything by being here. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's going to affect anything whether I'm here or not, simply because of the rain, but um, we got a few hours till it starts flooding down here so we're gonna give it our best shot see what happens y'all stay tuned it's a little jake coming from the same direction i came from He's probably going to come right in front of me. Unless 
he doesn't want to cross that creek. That was a bit of a mistake. I didn't think that turkey saw me. It kind of snuck up on me. And I was like, hey, there's a turkey. I need to film this. So I grabbed my camera. And just that little bit of motion. With that turkey was like, nope. But I've heard multiple times that the cluck and burr, like, I've heard that that's kind of a warning call when they're not sure if they're scared or not, but they don't want to be there anymore. And I don't know how well you guys could hear it because I don't have my mic on, but that turkey was doing exactly that. Clucking and burr, that was a good that was an old long beard it looked like. Skinny old long beard. That's what Ben Rogers Lee would call a true wild stray. But oh well, we got plenty of time left to get some killed. How come a turkey during deer season? has no issue at all crossing a creek. But if I was set up on this side of that creek and I saw that turkey headed my way and started calling, he would act like that dang creek was a force field. I don't get it. for sure. If I was in Covington County, I think Covington has a fall turkey season. But if I was in Covington County, I'd be eating turkey for dinner tonight. We ain't got too much longer before the rain's supposed to hit, but that buck has been showing up around 8 when he comes in in the morning. You never know what'll happen. Well guys, I made it back to the truck, obviously. It was a pretty exciting day. Um that was one of my most eventful days ever bow hunting without killing anything. Um man, turkeys are just hard to trick with 
at 20 yards, you know. So those turkeys, they were on to me pretty quick. Uh, the second turkey that um that I saw, he didn't catch me. He didn't realize anything was wrong until I moved my hand extremely slowly and clicked the record button to turn the, to stop the recording. And then he was like, nope, I'm out of here. So, I don't know, it was pretty fun. Um, hopefully I'll get that big six sometime soon. So, one thing I kind of wanted to mention real quick. Um, what I was hunting today is basically there's a low spot in the pipeline right here so what happens is the deer can get across the pipeline really easily and really safely and nothing can really see them but typically since it's a low spot and it's near a creek the thermals or the wind are just pushing towards the deer from either way therefore it's it's a pretty safe place to cross if you're if you're a prey animal so what I did, I put out corn there and just to kind of slow them down and stuff. And I haven't gotten anything, but I've, I've gotten the same deer the whole time. Like, I, it's just the way I use corn is different than a lot of people use corn. I use corn to kind of stop deer for a second, not really to attract them. Like, there's a few young deer that have been attracted to that corn, but like the the big six point that I'm looking for, that I'm looking at, and a lot of the older does, they were moving through there and just happened upon the corn. I'm sure they smelled it, you know, but the way I use corn is really to get a better look at deer, not to change deer's habits, really. So, I know it kind of does, but either way, I just wanted to kind of mention that. I uh, just kind of help y'all out maybe, but I guess we're going to see what Cade's doing now. Hey guys, so I um, saw that little buck, probably, um, hope I don't regret that, not shooting that deer. I didn't, he's a good buck, and this time last year, he would have been dead. I would have shot him, I had him at 20 seven yards ranged him a couple times <clears throat> took a snapchat of him <laughs> but um any other year that would have been a dead deer but we're getting out i decided to let him walk i got too many really good uh, too many good better bucks on camera right there then I, should, I shouldn't shoot it just because I got a chance to kill a bigger buck right there. And at that other stand that I told you about earlier, that had a picture of that big eight point, a big brow, long brow tine, browy is the name of that buck. Um, and I just decided to I'm gonna hold off. It's a long year, it's opening day. And I hid my, I put my, set my climber up underneath the shooting house in that food plot behind me so I wouldn't have to carry it out. Because I walked like 900 yards in today. And I plan on going back in that area this afternoon. Um, plan on going further or to that other spot where I had that buck on camera this morning. Alright guys, so we ain't got me some lunch. Relax just a little bit. We're headed back in for the evening sit. So pretty pumped up. 
right. I think we I think we got a good shot at seeing some deer this afternoon. It's been raining, so even though it's a full moon, the deer hadn't been moving in this area, I know for sure, because I got that cell camera on it, so I haven't had any movement in that area today since I left. So um not through the trails I'm hunting, so I'm hoping that maybe something's gonna come through this afternoon. Native sense. Get you some. But no more leaves now, we're all settled in. So from hunting this morning I am exactly 120 ish yards south of where I was this morning um, this is the same flat I'm on, I'm on the flat instead of on the edge of the bottom right now so what happens is they, they walk through the edge of these bottoms right there and then right there and in front of me is a um, a pasture and these deer work through these bottoms and this pasture is just a grass pasture so they don't actually don't plant or anything so these deer work the edge of this bottom and come up over this flat to go to the other bottom depending on where they want to bed depending on the wind and stuff like that they'll bed they bed on each side of the bottom um, so made in here we're doing good it's four o'clock it doesn't get dark till seven ish so we got three hours we're about to settle in i'm about to sit down for a little bit and i'll stand up here and i'll stand up 90 percent of the time but um so i got my cell camera the picture i showed you this morning from my cell camera yes
All right, guys. Well, that's the um, that's the end of opening day. I uh, I think it was a pretty awesome day. Uh, had one buck, uh, one good buck this morning. This is just day one. Y'all stay tuned. We got a lot of things going on that uh, we're, we're, we got a lot of got a lot of deer on camera. A lot of a lot of um, a lot of exciting things that we're going after here this year. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, if you if you did, make sure you like and uh, subscribe. Also, check out our podcast link in the description below. Our merch link in the description below as well. Um, get you one of these nice 25 high hats. But it is uh, it's like it's raining. I got up at four o'clock this morning. I'm tired, so I'm about to actually edit this video and then eat a little dinner and um, get to bed. And I think I'm going to get rained out on day two as far as in the morning. I think I'm going to get rained out in the morning. Um, hopefully, going to hunt tomorrow afternoon. That's the plan. I, looking at the weather, it just doesn't look like it's the, there's a chance in the world for me to get out there in the morning. But... Y'all stay tuned because tomorrow afternoon and then uh, hopefully Thursday and hopefully even Friday and Saturday and Sunday, uh, depending on how on this new video format that we're doing, it just depends on um, what's going on, how we break them up. You might have like today was just all one day, me and Zach. If Zach hunts, me and him uh, put our videos in one. Um, if, if we hunt on the same day, if we don't hunt on the same day, then it's going to be separate videos of just Zach. Then it'll be just videos of just me. So we um we're going to try to roll out as many quality videos. Like I said, we don't want we don't want to confuse quantity with quality. We uh, we take pride in all of our work that we do and all of our our videos and all of our editing. So I really appreciate y'all support. Please comment down below. Um, did y'all get out there? Did y'all hunt? Uh, open a day was y'all able to get off work was you out of school or anything you guys uh, let us know how your opening day went in the comments down below and like i said i appreciate all y'all support stay tuned like and subscribe always always remember to live life 25 high